everyone. Welcome back to another Walkthrough Wednesday. We're going to go through this brand new 38 FKTS and we actually just went to went into it for the first time before shooting this video. But before we do that and show you all the cool stuff on the outside, we are actually extending our RV show that was going on last week until this Saturday. So all of our units in our showroom and on our lot are on sale but you take an additional amount off. So since this is the hideout LHS, you take an additional $750 off this um, specific camper. So it's a really awesome deal. You guys will have to check it out. And it actually overlaps our March sale that is also going on right now. And that is going on until the end of the 20th? The 20th. 20th of March. So come check it out. You don't need an appointment to come take advantage of these savings. So let's go ahead and get started with the outside. You have your propane under this plastic casing kind of protects it a little bit. You also have this huge window, which I'll show you where that leads to on the inside. And you have the new design on the front cap. Plus you have the diamond plating down at the bottom. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty, but it helps protect the rocks and stuff from scratching your camper. This also has the industry's best three-year um, limited structural warranty. You are also prepped for side marker cameras. And then this is access to your water heater if you need to do that or any service maintenance needs done. Um, and this is also where your, um, what is it, heat comes out. So It's for your exhaust for your refrigerator. Yes. And so, you know, you can have mud divers on it, prevent bugs from creating nests and stuff in there. As you can see, we have a huge power awning that stretches across. And what's different about this camper, you have a tinted sliding door, which is really cool. Coming on to the back, you have a couple outlets out here if you want to put anything, some outdoor speakers. And then this is your second entrance. And this leads to the bedroom, so it is a rear bedroom camper. All the way at the back, you got a spare tire, plus you're also prepped for a uh, rear view camera. So let's go ahead and look at the inside. So as soon as you come in, it's your kind of living room entertainment space. You have this theater recline seat at an angle, perfect view in front of your entertainment center. Um, you have your electric fireplace on at the bottom and it does emit heat so you can heat up your camper and make it extra homey in here. Storage on either side plus a little bit of extra cubby space. And then just above is your Furion Bluetooth speaker system so that's where you can access your outdoor speakers and your indoor. Of course you got your huge swivel TV. And then before we reach the couch, you actually have your AC in the middle of the camper so you can constantly feel that cool air if you need to. Your jackknife sleeper sofa is right across from your theater reclining seat. So this does fold out into an extra sleeping space. I think it is a queen size mattress. So a couple people can sleep on there. To the right is your booth dinette and this also folds out into an extra bed. So you can have a lot of people sleeping in here. And what I love about the booth dinettes, they normally have storage underneath and the one on the left, actually, you can put some extra space under there. And one of my favorite things about this is the front kitchen. I don't know why, I just feel like you can really maximize the space in here, have a lot of room for entertaining. But you have a lot of countertop space and storage all down below, as well as above. It kind of makes an L-shaped. You do have your microwave just above the stove top, and this is a three-burner top stove with a glass range cover. And then, of course, there is your oven. Did we say how much it weighed, Ger? Um, 9,100 9, pounds. Okay, and let's look at the price before we keep going. Yep, the price is 29,985 and you get that additional 750 off. And then to the left is actually brand new. It's a huge residential sized stainless steel refrigerator. You can make less trips to the grocery store. So let's head on back to this really long hallway. Opening this door is actually into your mid bunk space. So this is something that's really unique about this camper. This is a 300 pound weight limit bunk and you also have this extra sleeper sofa and just kind of a desk space. So if you have a hobby that you're picking up, um, you can use it for that or just have a space for your kids. You can close the door. It could be a home office too. Home office. Hey, you know what we didn't notice when we came in here the first time? This does have the central vac system in yep. here, making it super easy. Love that. So now heading towards the main bathroom, I'm actually going to go through the bedroom so that, you know, we can handle the camera well. So as you can see, you can pass through it from the hallway or from your bedroom. So if you do need to go to the bathroom at night, you don't have to wake up your kids. Huge neo angled rounded shower, plenty of room to turn around in in there. And then to the right, you have your sink. 
storage below it, and in your medicine cabinet. And then of course you have your, I believe it's porcelain foot flush toilet, so you don't have to uh, use your hand for the flush, nice and sanitary. And then of course you just have a lot of extra space for your toiletries. So coming into our master bedroom, I love that it's on a slide out because you have all of this walking space right here. And this screen is actually temporary. You put it on your sliding door, but we have it placed right there. Queen size mattress with storage underneath. And I believe you have a second spot for an AC up here if you would like. Right across is just a lot of wardrobe space and you even have a spot for a TV in here. So I'll let you take a look at that. Hang all of your nice clothes up. So that is it for this hideout, you guys. Have a nice day.